What is up guys, today we are watching Dr. Stone episode 20. Uh, I really hope the audio is fine in this episode because in my last My Hero episode the audio was atrocious and you needed headphones to watch it, which was ridiculous. I've messed about with the settings and stuff now, it should be better. Um, also, I had like, trouble with the actual recording of the episode last time as well, it's just, it was a nightmare. Uh, but it should all be fixed now. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to get go ahead and get right into this episode. We're on episode 20 out of 24, maybe 25, I believe. It's getting closer. It's getting closer to the end. And now we're at the double double second digits. You know, it's like, <sighs> these are scary times. But hopefully a season two will be announced straight away. Because it definitely has the story and hype around it to do that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's get right into this episode. This is a bit loud. Cell phone. Super easy. Super easy to make cell phone. Not a problem. <sighs> it's true. Yep. Exactly. What's the realistic amount of time do you think this actually this would actually take? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Are you even... It's not my supposed to come for that. Shit. Quarko's got a sword up. Yeah. <clears throat> True. No, because they don't know, technically. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder how they've like settled in this in the Sukasa society for the past year or so. As spies, that's kind of cool. So, <clears throat> this is still a bit too loud, but I think I can talk over it. No, I can't. Right. So, we have mobile phones, or in this case, just phones, because the smart, the whole smart area of smartphones is obviously not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, but phones, yeah, they are a great, great asset in war. Absolutely. It can be the literal difference. Where in the case of like 
if they're used during war, during battle, which it won't be the case here because they're, they're not going to be able to make that many phones. Or they're used, you know, to speak to people that are undercover in like an enemy nation or something like that, which is what they're actually going to do with this. <clears throat> um, but they'll use it to like kind of break break this the, the empire or society from within. Um, using Senku's smartness. <clears throat> and yeah, like I was saying, I'd really like to know what Taiju and Yuzira... Yuzira? Did I just... I completely forgot. Um, but yeah, what they're doing, like what they've done for the past year or so. How they've blended in like their relationships with the people from Tukasa's empire. I think that'd be really interesting to see. It's like maybe like a spin-off kind of thing. The Age of Energy. Hmm. Oh, wow. Damn, they're really putting effort into this, aren't they? Yeah. Senko, how are you, how are you struggling carrying like three logs, man? <laughs> Senko needs some like, some just basic muscle training. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah of course they would <laughs> oh my fucking god <laughs> That's a lie I mean, I understood that. Well, maybe it's because of the diagrams on screen. <laughs> Vacuum tube. Oh, cotton candy. <laughs> cotton candy. <laughs> ah, and you've lost Jen. He's dead. Daijo <laughs> uh, boo. Why did she speak like that? Look at him in his little heat resistant outfit that covers his whole body. <laughs> That's hilarious. What are they doing? Oh, they're making holes. So that's how can't candy machines work. Nice crew. Well. <laughs> It'll help boost morale. True. So unlike ramen, cotton candy is pretty easy to reproduce, even in this society, most likely. So it'll taste like normal, everyday cotton candy, right? Nice. 
Oh, these two mob. Yeah, but it does. <laughs> oh, imagine trying cotton candy for the first time. <laughs> no, is this Dr. Stone or Food Wars? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god science is crazy <laughs> all this stuff is so overlooked <laughs> yeah and someone who hasn't had it for 3,700 years because he's been counting would still be pretty good Senku so you know eat, chow down Clearly not. Petite? She was like taller than Senku, right? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why? Yeah, probably not. Oh, look at it. So fucking cute. There has to be more to it than that. Yeah. Oh. You could lift you could have just give half to an animal. Who the fuck licks cotton candy? Is it just because she was trying it out? Oh look, our lips more, look more normal here. It's not going to win her over. What's that meant to be? Boop. 
<clears throat> What's going on here? <laughs> meme <laughs> hang on that has to be a sub translation issue there is no chance you know what I mean is. oh it was in the hundred tails oh my fucking god <laughs> Senku's dad <laughs> oh that's funny what does meme translate to in Japanese <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he gets like dragged along the ground and then Kinra gets fucking not Kinra, Kinra. Kinra? Ah. I got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's true. Grass and Kiseki Sick can pull it off. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> you beat that dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, he's a good dad. Look at it. Oh, it's fucking great. <laughs> oh, that's sick. <laughs> These are pretty amazing. Gonna use the gear for electricity. Oh my god. <laughs> he just like grew two feet in height. <laughs> Senku must already know about this. He would have already thought about this, surely. Fair play if Chrome was the first to think about it. <clears throat> Senku might just have his mind occupied with this. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I 
<laughs> как ра... <laughs> yeah, imagine trying to get these people on your side doing this. Well, that's not so bad. You got, yeah, you can, the people who aren't like, you know, the village people are like Fred stuff. They can do that. Now they have a job. It's fine. There's a bunny in the hole. How do they have so much gold? God, he's so strong, man. What the fuck? That's pretty great. <clears throat> <laughs> it's like for a beard. Oh, nice. That's so crazy. How civilization just repeats itself without, like, just the idea of it. Like, oh, this could work. Like, the same thing happened in our history. Like, this could work. Humankind is just so interesting for evolution. I mean, obviously, this is a fucking show, but guaranteed this, would, this kind of thing would still happen. <laughs> yeah, see, think of didn't think of it. Yeah. We have hydro-powered generator, right? Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Infinite electricity. <clears throat> Fuck yes. Hydroelectric power plant. Yep. That's fucking lit. See what I mean? Like, when I said, they're like, oh, at first they're just going to build this little thing. And then it just goes, whoosh. Like, oh. How, how useful is that going to be? I swear. All right, let me go. Let me get to the end. <laughs> Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> Spartan Crafts Club. Spartan Crafts Club. So it'd be something to do with... Uh, is he here, right? Is that a name? I keep forgetting. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that was fucking episode 20. God, that was such a good episode. Um, Chrome and... Uh, Kakeki. Kakeki. Kaseki, Kaseki, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Because always it just reminds me of Kaneki. Um, see how like it's just as I was saying, like human nature is just like, oh, this, this from this. Actually, what if we incorporated this into this, and it would make this job a lot easier? And it's just like it's it's in it's in our blood, it's in our brains, like deeply rooted to this kind of engineering and science like you can't get rid of it so Cass's plan would never work because you can't get rid of what's in our like in our dna that's what makes us human so that was pretty brilliant and the hydroelectric power is so useful especially to kin kinro and kinro god they're gonna fucking love never have to do that again <laughs> uh yeah what a great episode um uh, excited for the next episode i 
they think they're going to make a big dent into making the phone now, I assume. Or maybe even make it next episode. I don't know. Depends how fast they want to get through it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I certainly enjoyed the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day and peace out.